all right guys so let me brief you a little bit about what we have done so far off camera for the people who just joined this video they haven't any information about what's going on they can go back to the previous part number one to see the story from beginning so we were actually trying to convert this uh, receiver into an rx jack or 3.5 millimeter jack that can work with with a plug like this okay so that we can connect this wireless microphone to a camera dslr camera or any other non-type c camera okay let me tell you that we have removed this uh, block this is the uh, i'm sorry this is the female block that was here we removed it okay and this is the male type c block we removed it from here all right okay okay so we studied type c block in order to convert it into the required uh block or the required connectivity so as you can see here you can download this uh, image from the uh, the link is there in the uh, the description box you can find out that those two actually anyone can do this is the female plug okay it's this one female and this is the male plug okay guys here we are okay and this is the main block, the same, no problem. So what I'm saying is that this is a future uh, uh, block, guys, that many devices nowadays, they are using this kind of connectivity, this USB plug, this Type-C USB. It is the future because it is versatile and it has many, many, many characteristics that can actually help to improve the future devices and the future functionalities, okay? And there are many pins here that are not used. What I'm talking about right now, especially in what's related to our case, is like this. We need to connect out from here uh, the following wires. The battery wires, the plus battery wires, and it comes on number four. One, two, three, four. Whenever you you count from this side or from this side, one two three four this is the vcc or the positive the positive battery uh, wire this is the ground which is number one from here or from here or from here or from here whether male or female okay so now we have the battery because this one is depending on the supply power voltage of the cell phone itself that's number one so if we want to disconnect uh, the type C USB plug we will have to provide it with a separate external power so that's why we will connect the battery uh, blocks to an outside 5 volts uh, battery with uh, uh, 1 to 1 1.5 amperes as current anyway so and secondly we need to connect the microphone in other words we have to connect we want to connect this so that the output audio coming from the receiver here all right will be easy to be connected to any DSLR camera or any other device that is using the standard 3.5 millimeters uh, block okay so we may actually have two bins D which has data D net minus and D plus. Those are the data uh, uh, blocks and they are used here for instance. This is the uh, white wire, mostly it's connected here. And the green wire is connected here. And if you notice here, we have those Chinese people that they have, this is the, you know, the battery. And those are the data. So mainly we have four wires. So what we are going to do right now, and we already have done that and we've tested that and we've succeeded in that. We will connect four wires on here according to the following diagram. But before connecting, guys, we are going to use this 
symbol and all the headphones. All right, guys, I already have done this earlier and found the connection points for audio output and nothing left now except to install the 3.5 millimeter jack and the battery. But I decided to make this experiment again and this time you will be also connected so that you can hear what I hear. So here I am preparing the required connections for us to discover out the audio coming from, from this PCB receiver after it is powered on with our lithium ion battery. Okay. I am going to use this homemade probes to connect precisely to the pins here, providing the uh, uh, pins for the uh, output audio, okay? So, this is going to be for one side, which is the ground, okay? And this is for the other side, right? And I am going to connect this wire also. This wire will go to you, guys. It will be connected to you. So that you can uh, hear exactly what is happening when we connect to the audio output coming by receiving this transmitter okay so we'll be also connected here like this okay. okay so let me explain what is happening first off this ugly microphone actually connected here so that it can catch my audio to you okay those two groups are connected with the same connection so that they will be attached to the source of signal that is coming from here once we connect it to the power okay this way I'm going to hear the signal through the headphones that are that are actually going to my ears okay and to make you also hear what is happening and what's going on at the same time with me this wire is going to your camera I know it's uh, it's not that actually arranged but it's actually it working like this because I want you to be with me guys with the uh, 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 not only video but also audio so that you can hear the resulted audio coming from here we'll be together in this okay so let's test this connection first then we will go to power out this that uh, power on that PCP all right let's check it together and after that I'm going to do the uh, technical uh, design to the final product all right let's go okay to make an example on this here we have this ugly mp3 player and it has no speaker this is the outside speaker now it's playing let's make sure first off let's connect it to the uh, headphone right now you will see when i attach the probes there i hope you are hearing me through this yeah so you are catching my audio through this and you are catching any signal through those probes okay guys okay right let me just make sure that we lower out the audio as much as we can. All right. So, let us test everything to see if you can hear what I hear. Okay. So, we connect this. Those two approach. That means suck. Right. So. Now, let's go ahead and power on this PCB and catch the audio coming from the uh, uh, transmitter. Oh. oh 
I think we we burn something here. Unfortunately, guys, as you have seen, we haven't been so cautious as it should be, and we did not use the required uh, amperage because you should use the required amperage or less if you want to deal with sophisticated uh, circuits. Unfortunately, we wasn't uh, enough cautious, and uh, we had this uh, trouble. You know, things can happen, mistakes also can happen at any time. Unfortunately, what happened did happen and now it needs further actually further work to discover out if we can just restore it back i think if i uh replace some of these uh you know uh, regulators or something i may be able to restore it back if the chips are still okay especially the receiving uh and uh and uh, and the audio producing uh chip uh, anyways guys thank you very much for your uh, time and your watch but at least now we learned two important lessons. The first of the subject of this uh, topic is how to convert the type C. Now you have an idea about how to use the type C. And the only four uh, bins are used currently. Some devices are using more in that. You will find all this also indicated in the in the in the attached image that you can download it through the. Uh, the uh, the the link on the description box and number two which is more importantly is the lesson number two is to be more cautious when dealing with sophisticated and uh, soft uh, uh, circuits thank you very much see you in next episode